welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top headlines. Regarding the NEED PG 2022, MCC releases list of joint round one and two state counselling candidates. Through a recent notice, Medical Counselling Committee has released the data of NEED PG candidates who have joined their seats in their respective states after appearing for the state counselling sessions. Along with this, the MCC has released the list of candidates who are joined through state counselling and have also participated in the mop-up round of All India Counselling being conducted by the MCC of DGHS. And for such candidates, the MCC has warned of removal from the said data if they fail to resign their joint seat. Eight suspected measles deaths, 503 cases locked in Maharashtra. Maharashtra has reported 503 cases of measles so far this year and eight deaths suspected to be caused by the viral infection. All in Mumbai, the health department said on Thursday as Chief Minister Eknath Shinde reviewed the situation and asked officials to give special attention to hospitalized patients. The Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation in a separate bulletin said the Metropolis has reported eight suspected deaths due to the disease and 169 confirmed cases so far. Doctors at AINU successfully removed a football-sized kidney tumour. Doctors at the Asian Institute of Nephrology and Urology have successfully removed a football-sized kidney tumour weighing 10 kgs to save the life of a middle-aged man. This successful surgery is the first ever such feat registered in the Telugu states and second instance in the country. A team of urologists led by Dr. Malik Arjuna C and his team successfully performed this challenging procedure. A 53-year-old male was referred to AINU with abdominal swelling. On examination, doctors found the presence of a large abdominal mass lesion. Imaging revealed that tumour was arising from left kidney. The mass was so large that it occupied two-thirds of the abdominal cavity and it even displaced intestines into right lower quadrant. Scientists develop fentanyl vaccine that prevents the opioid from entering the brain. Natural substances found in the opium poppy plant. Opioids work in the brain to produce a variety of effects including pain relief. Opioid drugs include prescription pain medicine and illegal drugs. Some people use opioids because of the euphoria they can produce. Opioid drugs can cause addiction also known as opioid use disorder. A research team led by the University of Houston has developed a vaccine targeting the dangerous synthetic opioid fentanyl that could block its ability to enter the brain, thus eliminating the drug's high. The breakthrough discovery could have major implications for the nation's opioid epidemic by becoming a relapse prevention agent for people trying to quit using opioids. While research reveals opioid use disorder is treatable and estimated 80% of those dependent on the drugs suffer a relapse. The findings published in the journal Pharmaceutics could not be timelier or more in demand. Over 150 people die every day from overdoses of synthetic opioids including fentanyl which is 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.